And this is Grandma Sebri, Sarah E. Sebri and Emily Wurzel, Father Gail, Kurt's wife. This was taken down in, I think, North Bend, Ohio in about 1940. This is Toots Rudisel, or Clarence Rudisel, where he, was, he went to, and this is at 8341 Wiswell during the funeral of, of uh, my mother, Elizabeth Father, uh, Father Gill, Seabree Father Gill. That's Judy and some of Ray's kids, Bud and David. They're getting in Dad's 33 Chrysler. That's the first car that Alan ever drove. Too good either. This is Alan, and he, I was home on emergency leave from when Frank got killed and, and my mother died at the, at the time of the funeral. This was in January of 44. Frank was killed on December the 27th. That's Gene Father Gill. He, he brought him back, flown, flew him back from Alaska. At the same time, this is Ray Father Gill acting like he's drunk with a bottle, an empty bottle of whiskey. This is in the backyard at 8341 Wiswell. I might like to say that that's Virginia Seabury and a girlfriend. I don't know her name. That's Ray talking to her. And that's Alan. Now this light picture isn't our fault. It isn't Paul and our fault. <laughs> Kurt did something on his exposure. This is Dean. These pictures were taken in 1944, January of 1944, the latter part of January. Mom died the 19th, and it took Dean about two weeks to get there. I guess this is a, might be February. There's Uncle Homer Fisher and Aunt Carrie Fisher. That's in the backyard. He died in 1946. Uncle Homer did, and I don't know when Aunt Carrie, she died several years later. And this is the whole group. That's Uncle Homer and Alan and Denny and, or not Denny, David and Bud. And there's Ida Mae and Verna and Aunt Carrie and Judy and Jean. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, you know all those people. My names. <laughs> there's me. I can't do that anymore. That turn a handspring. <laughs> this is Judy. Judy Wallman today. Some of these, I won't be able to do That's Gail. And there's Jack McEachern. That's Gail. Uh, Gail uh, Albert now. Putting her on a hobby horse. She didn't want to do it. You don't think that's sharp, let me know. You see better than I do. That's probably sharper you're going to get. It. I don't know. Is that Dorothy? There's Alan. And uh, Jack, is that Vernon there? I think so. And Looks Gail. Like it. And this is Jill. Oh. I'm pretty sure this is Jill. <laughs> yeah, that looks like her. This yeah. is at 8341 Withwell. There's my dad, Clarence Ray, Father Gill. He died in 54. That's Verna. Yeah, that's her. And, and that's Jill. Jill. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's going way back in it. Boy, I'll say. 40. In the 40, 40s. About yeah. 42 years. And there's uh, Linda. That's Dorothy's girl. With uh, Judy and Jill and my dad. I think all them father girls are kind of hams, don't you, <laughs> Paul? Yeah. There's Gail and Linda. There's 
steel. You could uh, probably when Brandy gets married and has a kid, you can compare them. Now this is at Sharon Woods. This is in, uh, after the war. That's uh, Dave, no, that's Alan hitting. That's me hitting. Is that you? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> There's Gene hitting the, the softball. This is up in Sharon Woods. I'd say this is about 47. And uh, some of Ray's ball team, there's Clance hitting. Kurt didn't have it right on the batter. Uh -uh. <laughs> Clance always did strike out at the uh, beginning of the year. He, couldn't, he didn't have an eye. There's uh, Judy yeah. batting. All them fellas in the green uniform the Denny's got one on but that's uh, that's Ray's ball team down on Vine Street but there's Denny the little one is Denny he's 50 years old now <laughs> and there's Paul sitting out in the grass oh that me yeah <laughs> I don't know why you weren't up playing I was. I played. Maybe he was over on the side. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, there's Denny batting. Some uh, Jim Kane was there. There's my dad and Aunt Carrie and Aunt Elsie and Mary, Jim, Jack, Joan, Jack McEachern, Joan, Aunt Carrie, Fisher, Ida May, Father Gill, Ray's wife. Who's that? Hello. Hi, Dad. Hello. And Aunt Elsie's behind Ida May. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's Aunt Elsie. There's Aunt Carrie and my dad talking over old times. There's my dad batting and running the first. Oh, and I, he was old then, you know? Yeah. There's Berna, Aunt Bertha. This is in Sharon Woods yet. I don't know who had them people. I think that's one of the Rudisel girls. There's Ida May. And that's one of the boys from the... Uh, from Ray's ball team. I don't know what his name is. I think he looks out of focus to me. There's Judy. Uh, that's Judy, Judy Wallman today, the Alaska girl. They're all walking back, I think, somewhere now, or going somewhere. Back to the cars, I guess, that was over. That's Cliff there. That's Jenny's first husband, mm -hmm. Cliff Bruce, or whatever his name was. Mm -hmm. There's Jim Kane. Denny Batten. That, that's a, there's a Connie. Connie oh, Carlyle. Yeah, yeah. And Emily. There's Mary and Al Kemp. That was Frank's wife. girls behind us. That's Ray. I think it's Connie and Emily. There's Aunt Addie. My dad. I 
This is down on the Whitewater Park. There's Aunt Addie and some of her grandchildren. She's got Aunt Bertha behind her and Aunt Carrie. Carrie Fisher and Bertha Gross. Should get those last names in there. People don't know who they are. This is uh, Jenny, that's Virginia. Virginia Roosh at the time, I think. And Aunt Elsie, and Cliff, and Uncle Warren. And the grandchildren. I think that's some of Jenny's, that's Jenny's baby there. I think it's probably Bobby's. He had one name by it. There's Clarence practicing the golf swing with Ray watching. There's Ray practicing his golf swing. <laughs> we actually hit balls back in them cornfields. Did Yeah. There's Clarence again. And that's one of the beautiful girls. I think that's, uh, I think that's Alice. Not sure. And that husband is dead. I think one of them died. I don't know which one it is. There's Ray sneaking to drink of whiskey, which he always did frequently. <laughs> There's Aunt Carrie, Aunt Bertha, Aunt Addie, and Uncle Warren. They're all brothers and sisters. Now, Aunt Bertha, the second from the left, is a twin of Warren Seedry on the right. And Aunt Carrie was a half-sister. This is probably Norma and... What's the other Nerudus little girl's name? There's the kids. I don't know whose kids anymore. I think that's Gail. No, Gail's a little older. Than Jenny doesn't want to be photographed in a bathing <laughs> suit. <laughs> There's plants leaning against the car. There's uh, Rudisville girls. That's four Rudisville girls. Mary and Norma and Francis. That was the other one. And Alice. Uh, don't ask me who. Now this is... Uh, the Father Gills in Illinois. This is... Uh, their grandfather. This is up in Joliet, Illinois. I doubt if you ever see that in the film. Yeah. See what dark. I see where this is. We have to identify what this is. This is out in Sullivan, Indiana, at Uncle Arv and Aunt Emma's house, Seabreeze. That's uh, Uncle Will, my dad's brother's second wife, and there's Uncle Will with her. You can tell he's a father, Bill. <laughs> and this is at uh, uh, this is at Earl's house in Joliet. That's one of Will's boys. And there's Emily and Marge. That's Earl, the ball-headed one. Uh, and that's uh, one of the girls. I don't know which one it is. This is Earl Fothergill. He's a first cousin of mine. And he's dead now. Incidentally, we're doing this on November 1st, 1990. This is my Uncle Will, my dad's brother, Will Fothergill. And this is, uh, that's one of Earl's boys. I think his name is Bill Fothergill. And this is uh, Leroy Fothergill. We called him Ducky. He's, uh, that's his girl. He has two girls. 